right, we got the paved part of the driveway done. Now we're going to do this long laneway here with the plow, and it's my favorite part because it doesn't take that long, and it's pretty easy. It's straightforward, so it's good. Let's get at it. Okay, along here I didn't put the shoes on the bottom of the blade, the two skates or shoes, whatever you'd like to call them, because it ended up my driveway, I forgot that it had um, ice, it had been iced and uh, it was had a good crust on it, so I just put the straight blade right down on top of the gravel, although it wasn't gravel, it was ice, and it did a really good job, I didn't drag all the kinds of gravel along with me at all. So I had to gear down a bit. I don't know why it was, um, like I said, it's about seven, eight inches of snow, but it was um, it was hard to get going there the first pass. And my ATV was um, spinning a bit. The back end was moving around, so. But I made it through pretty good. I've had deeper snow than that and no trouble pushing the snow. I don't know what was, why it was doing that, because it was uh, fluffy snow. Maybe the blade was just catching into the ice just enough to make it uh, cause resistance. So I'm coming up to the road now, all the whole length of that driveway, and have to slow down a bit here just in case of traffic. I just push the snow right across the road and into the ditch. There isn't much traffic on that road, so you don't really have to be too careful, but at the same time, just kind of keep an eye out, right? So right here, I get off the ATV and go to the plow blade, the plow, and to turn the plow to the right all the way in that right direction so that the snow shoots all the way to the right. And here we go, we take off. Making our second pass back towards the house. Now I usually go a lot quicker than this and really get the snow flying. But like I said, I guess with the ice underneath on the driveway, the crust, if I if I had went faster and I could feel it starting to, to grab like if I would have went faster, the back end of the ATV would have kicked out and you can see it just kind of kicking out a little bit there. So, when it's just snow and not an icy crust, it's no problem. You don't have to worry about the back end kicking out. You just hammer it down like about third gear, and the snow just flies into the, into the uh, trees and the bushes to the right or to the left. It was, um, it was probably about quarter to eight, 7.45 a.m. in the morning. Just a beautiful morning. You can see the sun coming up through the trees there. It's just so enjoyable. I just love it. That's another thing I got to watch when I'm uh, plowing the driveways, watching out for the poles, for the wires, the electrical wires. Look at the, the steam coming off the engine. <laughs> the snow was spraying up in there. <laughs> it's quite a bit of steam coming off there. A lot of people would have thought there was something wrong with the engine, but no. Uh, just the snow hitting the hot engine and the exhaust. Here I do a bit of a donut to get around. Having a little fun. Drop the blade and head up the other way. Again. so much more better than just doing the other part of the driveway with all the twists and the turns and the reverse and forward, lifting the blade, dropping the blade. Here you just go straight forward. I really enjoy it. Look at that snow flying to the right there.
onto the road again. Take a quick look, shove the snow across the road, turn around, and make another pass. wider now we're getting the driveway wider so just got to really be careful you don't want to hit one of those things I remember the first year and I think the second year this will be my fourth winter plowing the driveway with the ATV and the plow but the first two years we got snow all the time like it was snowing like every day or every other day it's unbelievable and that's why I went really wide today on the snow you make that driveway as wide as you can and that because if it does snow a lot more throughout the coming winter you don't you, you, your driveway is going to get more narrow and narrow because your your uh, your banks on the sides are going to get higher and you can only shoot the snow so far it's not a snow thrower, it's just a plow. So yeah, it, your driveway gets more narrow. But you know what? We've had so much snow in those those two years that uh, even with, uh, with all the plowing and my driveway getting more and more narrow. Oh, here I hit a little bit hard there. But I got a bit of a curve there. I, I wasn't going very fast. It looked a lot worse than it was. I just don't like doing that because it's so hard on your, uh, your equipment. Anyways, yeah, so even with all that snow, it's still, I still, you know, the driveway was getting more narrow and narrow and narrow. There was still lots of room to drive up and down. I, like, I had delivery trucks coming to my house. And they had no problem getting in and out, you know. So it would take a heck of a lot of snow to make it almost impassable. <laughs> but that's why I start wide. I, right in the beginning, we get a fair amount of snow. I, I clear as much as I can to the to the right to the right and the left whichever way I'm plowing sometimes I mix it up just make that driveway as wide as you can at first here we got to watch out for those rocks I never want to hit those and here is the most dangerous pole coming right here I get pretty close to that sometimes but I slow down a bit so I I don't want to nail that that would be that would probably break my arm my right my right arm probably send me flying if I ever hit that I don't want to ever experience that. As you can tell the plow hasn't been by yet. Um, right now I'm going to clear the ends of the driveway. More steam. <laughs> so yeah I'm going to tidy up the ends of the driveway before I make another pass and uh, you don't see it you won't see it, but I cleaned. Uh, the, I had to do it over again because the plow had went by. Uh, when I was done here, I went over to my neighbors and we talked a bit. And while I was talking to him, the plow had come by, and but he didn't leave a lot in front of my driveway. But I cleaned it up just the same. it off here and direct the blade to the right again make another pass up the driveway I'm using a Kimpex click-and-go to snowplow blade 
That was the only one I've ever had, and I really like it. it you know, it was probably about 800 bucks with tax and everything. I believe it was around that cost. Um, it's been a while now, but it was worth every penny because my neighbor on the other side of me, I believe he was paying $60 to get his driveway done. And uh, it's the same length as mine. And, uh, you know, 60 bucks every time the plow had come by, it, it adds up. So that'd be like 10, 10 plows. That'd be like 600 bucks. So yeah, that's what it was. It was around $600, not 800. That's why, because I, I remember telling this story before. So about 10 plows, it paid for itself. And I've been, I'm on my fourth year now, so it's been way over that. Probably 30 times I've done the plow. And I'm using an old 2004 Suzuki Iger. 400 and it, it's worked great for me I've only had I bought both the ATV and the plow at the same time four years ago so they both work well for me pass here right now but yeah I think next spring coming this spring coming up or even soon I'm I'm shopping for a, a side by side I'm not quite sure if I'll go used or new right now probably new because I know I'll keep it for years I need something very reliable for uh, clearing this driveway and uh, yeah I'll have to get a winch and a plow for it too so but I want to use the side-by-side -side for pleasure as well. So it won't be just for around the house, doing work around the house. I, I use the ATV for all sorts of things. I use it for bringing firewood around to the back because we, we have a wood furnace and a wood, uh, wood fireplace. So we use it for that. I use it for pleasure. I use it for ice fishing, um, all kinds of things. So I'll get a lot of use out of the side-by-side -side too. I just think I'll have a trouble, I'll have a hard time finding a really good side-by-side -side that's used at a decent price, especially right now. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next video.